oxidized forms of carbon, the most reduced form would be uh, in a any kind of large molecule would be a CH2, and that's typical of fatty acids, the oils and fats. The carbons look like that. Carbohydrates have this generic formula. Carboxylic acids and things. The most oxidized form is CO2. So our foods are up here, these kinds of things. And we're donating electrons to oxygen and carbon in the total. So we can look at that and say there's more electron density in a fat than in a carbohydrate. And this is something we know already. Fats are really high energy, calorically dense foods because the carbons are more. They're even more energy rich than carbohydrates. Because the carbohydrates already partially oxidized them. So we do pathways like glycolysis, where we break down glucose, ultimately chop it up and oxidize it to CO2. All the way along in steps, electrons are being bled off, uh, being handled by these molecules we'll talk about later, which go into the mitochondria and ultimately donate their electrons to molecular oxygen. This is happening inside mitochondria. This is why we breathe. We breathe to get oxygen to all of our cells so that electrons can be stripped off the high energy reduced foodstuffs and the oxygen gets reduced to make water. And in this process, it's called oxidative phosphorylation. By the way, you see why it's called oxidative. This is the powerhouse of the cell where that downhill reaction, negative delta G all the way through here, is used to drive ATP synthesis. So that's where we get the ATP to do all these fun things that the cell wants to do. So it turns out then that there's a strong link between energy, carbon, and oxygen. Uh, plants use energy from sunlight to do a redox reaction. They take the most oxidized form of carbon, CO2, and turn it into glucose, which is pretty hardly reduced. They do that by getting electrons out of water. They oxidize water, and they produce oxygen gas. Yeah, so you're going to notice the plants to pop off. That's why they're oxidizing water, stealing electrons off that, putting it out of carbon. We do, in respiration, the exact opposite, of course. We oxidize this reduced form of carbon back into CO2, take electrons out of it, and in respiration, we dump those electrons up to the electron sink, oxygen, and the oxygen molecules get reduced to water. So we're flip flopping between CO2 and this, this uh, CHOH form, typical of carbohydrates. Plants do the, the uphill work, we exploit that, and we take the downhill reaction to drive ATP synthesis. Okay, so we've 